Hi friends, I am Dr. Yajwendra Gavai. I am an orthopedic surgeon and a sports medicine specialist. And uh, today in this video, we are going to speak about ligament injuries of the knee, more specifically about ACL tears. We will also address the question whether all ACL tears or ACL injuries need surgery. Now, those of you who have been associated with sport or play sports have at least heard about ACL tears. ACL tears are, uh, is one of the most common serious ligament injuries of the knee that we see in sports. Uh, more commonly seen in contact sports like football but also seen in other sports which involve uh, jumping and landing, twisting and pivoting motions of the knee like badminton or uh, basketball etc. We also see uh, ACL tears in more serious ligament injuries like road traffic accidents uh, or scooter motorcycle accident as a part of a larger or more serious injury. ACL tears is also seen more commonly in women or female athletes as compared to male athletes. That is the way the anatomy of females is. It makes them more prone to getting a ACL tear. So, so what is an ACL? ACL stands for anterior cruciate ligament of the knee. It is one of the four major ligaments of the knee which contribute to the stability of the knee. Uh, let me explain to you by using this model of the knee. Uh, let me orient you first. This is the thigh bone. This is the leg bone. There are two leg bones. The bigger one is called the tibia, smaller one is called the femur, uh, fibula and the thigh bone is called the femur. And the bone in front here, this kneecap which we call in lay terms is called as patella. Now ACL is a big ligament inside of the knee. If, if, we, if I move the patella away and look in the middle of the knee, the ligament that you see in the center here is the ACL ligament and if you see the fibers of the ACL the way they are oriented it prevents or it stops excessive movement of the th leg bone in relation to the femur the frontal motion or the twisting motion when you lose your ACL ligament that is what happens. You feel unstable because there is excessive motion or excessive translation of the tibia on the femur. So what happens when you get an ACL tear? Okay, the, the initial response of the body when you get any injury is of inflammation. There is bleeding, there is swelling in the knee, there is pain, there is uh, difficulty in walking, there is difficulty in putting weight on that leg and the knee feels very unstable. This is the acute phase reaction or the initial reaction after the injury. Uh, if you rest it adequately after a few days or a few weeks of rest, then pain goes down, swelling goes down. However, a lot of patients, especially with complete ACL tears, will continue to have instability in the knee or feeling that the knee is going to, going to give out especially when you are doing activities which involve twisting and pivoting motions. Okay. Now, who needs ACL surgery? That is the, the important question that we want to address in this video. Well, ACL tears is our ligament tears and they behave like all other ligament tears. You can get a partial ACL tear or a complete ACL tear and depending on what kind of tear it is, the natural history of that injury changes. Most of the partial ACL tears after the initial phase of inflammation, swelling, pain, once that settles, they become asymptomatic or the symptoms go away, especially if uh, the individual has a low physical activity level or a more sedentary lifestyle. Most of them just will improve with adequate physi physiotherapy or rehab. However, in professional athletes or uh, individuals who are physically very active, this may not be the case. Even partial ACL tears may still give a lot of instability or disability in people who are physically very active or play professional sports. So the treatment has to be individualized. In complete tears, complete uh, ACL tears, usually the treatment of choice is surgery, especially in young physically active individuals. Does it mean everyone needs 
uh, surgery after ACL, not really. Especially older individuals or if ACL is part of a, a more serious uh, knee injury which involves a lot of fractures, sometimes ligament tears like ACL takes a back seat over a more serious bony injury or in patients who are morbidly obese, very heavy, the failure rates of ACLs are very high and that is why uh, ACL usually is treated conservatively in these, these patients as well. So the conservative management or non-operative management involves physiotherapy or strengthening of the knee muscles to make the knee stable because along with the ligaments which make your knee stable your muscles also play a very important role in stability of the knee. So improving the strength of the muscles by doing proper physiotherapy is one of the best ways to treat ACL conservatively even after surgery. A rehabilitation or physiotherapy has a very very important role because even if the surgery is done in the best possible manner if the physiotherapy or rehab afterwards is not adequate the chances of a sportsman to go back to sports is very low however if ACL is treated properly by surgery and with proper rehabilitation the return to play in, after an ACL tear especially after isolated ACL tears is as high as 70 to 75 percent which is very good especially for an injury which was supposed to be a career ending injury at one stage. Uh, so let's talk about surgery for ACL tear. The technical term for the surgery or technical name of the surgery is arthroscopy assisted ACL reconstruction. Let me explain what that means in lay terms. Arthroscopy assisted means that we use a device called as arthroscope or endoscope which we insert inside the knee with the help of a keyhole incision or a small incision and the entire surgery is done with the help of this camera inside your knee. ACL is self-explanatory. Reconstruction as opposed to repair means that in, in, a, in a repair we would stitch the torn ligament or the torn tissues back together. However, in an ACL tear, repair most of the times will not work. So what we do is something called as reconstruction. So in reconstruction what we do is we take a graft another tissue and we replace your native or torn ACL with this new graft now what are the choices for graft in ACL usually there are two main choices one is called as an aloe graft or a tissue taken from a cadaver or a, uh, a dead donor and the other option is an autograft or that is a tissue taken from the patient himself in India 99% of the cases that we do are autograft or the tissue taken from the patient and the most common choices are either the bone patella tendon bone which is a ligament that is there in the front of the knee which extends from the kneecap or the patella down to the tibia or the leg bone. So we take the central portion of this tendon that is and the other option which is in fact more commonly used is the hamstring tenders. Now they, you cannot see hamstring tendons on this model here but usually there are tendons which go in the back of the knee and which are attached here in the front of the leg bone. Uh, there are, we have five major hamstring muscles and tendon units out of which we usually take one or two tendons depending on the size of the native ACL. Now what is done is we put the camera inside the knee and we drill tunnels where the attachment of the native ACL is and we pass this new graft and fix it there in position with the help of a bio screw or a button device. Okay, Let me draw it for you. This is the thigh bone and this is the leg bone so the ACL normal ACL extends from the leg bone front of the leg bone to the back of the thigh bone like this so what we do is we drill a tunnel in the thigh in the leg bone down here and 
the thigh bone up here and pass the graft in this direction and the graft is fixed on the femur with the help of a small clip metal clip and on the tibia with the help of a screw here so that forms the new ACL ligament here now this is, a, this is a very simplistic explanation obviously there are various other ways of fixing ACL and different types of uh, ACL reconstruction that you can perform however this is the one that is the most commonly performed and like I said even after the best ACL reconstruction surgery that is not the end of treatment rehabilitation or physiotherapy is a very very important part of re treatment in an ACL tear without which full, a full or a complete recovery is virtually impossible thank you